Hi guys, this is Mike. In this Cinema 4D tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the color chooser. Okay, I have this very simple scene set up, and when you open up a new material, you have this option to choose this color chooser or color wheel. Now, so you have a few different options. You have the color wheel, you have your normal color picker that you would see in, say, Photoshop and you have the ability to choose a color from an image. And you also have different types of ways to choose color. You have RGB, HSV, which is hue, saturation, value, and Kelvin. And Kelvin is a way to choose a color based on temperature. And you also have a color mixer, a hexadecimal, so if you come from a web design background, you can choose hexadecimal numbers. And you also have swatches. You can save, load, and uh, save out your swatches that you have that you create within the color chooser and then save it out onto your hard drive or load ones that you have from another application or um, you know something that you maybe downloaded from the internet. So you have a bunch of different ways in Cinema 4D to choose colors. Uh, you also have the ability to choose color from an image. So we're gonna take a look at the color wheel. And what we have is a few of these different harmonies that you can create using, using these icons at the top here. So you have the free icon where you can just kind of change the color just freely and you can add in these uh, little handles that you have here within the color color wheel. So if you click on this plus sign, you have two to choose from. You can also hold down command click within the color chooser, color wheel, and you can choose from these different types of handles. You can make as many as you want and you can also switch between using these icons here. Now if you click on this little folder icon it will create a, a folder where you can then store these swatches within this area here. And you can delete these handles just by pressing the delete key in order to get rid of those. So it's a nice and easy way of choosing colors within the color wheel. Now next to it you have uh, analogous, or no, this is, one is monochromatic. So monochromatic allows you to use this slider that goes up and down from its highest saturation that you choose within the color wheel all the way down to white. Now here you have complementary colors. So if you have a color, say orange, it'll go directly across through the color wheel to its complementary color, which is really nice. So th this gives you really one of the best ways of choosing a good color scheme that I've seen in a program before. So Cinema 4D has done a really good job with using this color chooser. Now we have now this one is analogous. And now this allows you to, gives you a value of 15 degrees close to the color that you choose. So if you have, say, a color here, you can choose a color very close to it in value, which is really nice. And now on this one, you have the ability to choose three different colors which is really nice and you can also see these down here at the bottom and tetratad is that how you say that titrad <laughs> and you can also which gives you four colors that you can choose from so if you have these two colors it's comp uh, complementary color and then this one, you'll have your complementary color on this side. So this is definitely very useful if you want to get color schemes. And now you have this one where, like I said, you can add in 
various colors. It's sort of like a free um, complementary color that allows you every time you add in a new color, it gives you that complementary color on the other side. So as you can see, you can make some really nice color harmonies using these top icons. And if you play around with them, you, you can quickly realize that you can get these color schemes. Uh, if you're coming from more of a designer background, you can quickly get these designs and uh, colors that you need for your project. And it's, it's sort of like a guide for you to make sure you're choosing colors that are correct on the color wheel. Okay, so I talked about the color picker and that's pretty pretty basic. You've probably seen this in other programs. But we also have the uh, ability to choose colors from an image, which is pretty nice. And you can, if you have, say you have an image that you just really love the colors, you can just use this eyedropper to pick out some of these colors, which is really nice. Because sometimes you'll see a photo and uh, or maybe it's a painting or some some drawing and it gives you the color scheme that you want uh, maybe not the style of whatever composition that you're seeing but you like the color scheme you li like how the color values work with each other it's a great way because it's you already have uh, say an artist that has done the work of working out a really beautiful color scheme and you can take that and pick that from that image or that graphic and then use that within your whatever design or model or creature or whatever you're working on to grab that color. It's a, just a, a very quick way of, you know, you can just kind of search the internet, download an image, upload it by just clicking on this icon here and then just color picking it really quick. I do that a lot just when I want to get, when I'm saying I'm working on a, a model, some some type of modeling, and I want to get the color scheme in really quick, even though I I'm, I'm may completely redo it, I just want to be able to see it kind of fleshed out within a, a color, uh, the colors that I want. Now I have this material set across this entire, uh, um, on this null, so it goes across all these all these spheres that I've have here. But as I go through, I can get the correct colors that I want, save it into my swatches, my swatch palette over here, and then simply just start color picking from each one. And then you can just adjust as needed if you want to get a certain look, a certain you know something that you want. And the great thing is, is using this color wheel, you know you're going to have good complementary colors. So this is just a, a really well-balanced part within Cinema 4D um, that I haven't seen in any other program. Um, I'm sure there's other programs that uh, do a lot more with, um, with color that I haven't seen. But with like Sketchbook Pro or Photoshop or Illustrator um, or other 3D programs that I've used, this really is a, a beautiful way to set up and do your colors within Cinema 4D. I put a link in the description to download project files. You can also download project files from this tutorial and all the tutorials that I made so far at astronomicskills.com. Also, I created a Udemy course for beginner 3D modeling in Cinema 4D. I would value your opinion and if you could take a look at it and review it, I would really appreciate it. Thank you.